long standoff in neutral where that's that's gonna occur. But just something I, I personally enjoy. I, I just love aerial needles, man. One of my favorite moves in Smash history. But here we go. Uh, no, never mind. We're off to the button check. Not the yeah. races yet. <laughs> Well, it's your horses, my guy. Yeah, we've got ice on the stage. I, it's crazy, you know, because I could see all the, the different right. screens at the same time, but... Uh, yeah. yeah, that one's the main one. Yes, of course, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, anyways, we're gonna run it. Th we're gonna do the team colors. We're gonna have Kage and uh, Kage and Legend on the green team, and Swedish and Ice on the blue team. I think that's very color coordinated because Kage, we know, we see famous for his green, green, uh, green Ganondorf. Ganondorf. Yeah. Uh, and if Ice blue could be more perfect. Yeah. Even though Ice is definitely clear, <laughs> <laughs> we still associate it and water with blue. Shoutouts to the sky. Shoutouts <laughs> to the sky, yeah. reflecting off the yep. sun radiation colors. It's crazy how that works, man. I know. Science is a trip, dude. All right, well, um, as soon as these guys affirm that their controllers are in working order, we're going to see two very interesting teams, in my opinion, going at it here. Yeah, we see an interesting composition versus a non-conventional composition. Yeah, and Puff is such an X factor in doubles that I feel like she automatically levels up the whole strange composition. Yeah, absolutely. Like, I would be way less scared of Ganon Sheik, for example. Ganon Peach. I mean, just seems like, oh, well, whatever. Just, you know, Edgar Ganon uh, or bully him. But Puff just throws that whole rest into the mix. And all of a sudden, you know, Ganon hits you one single time and then you're at rest kill percent. I mean, he could hit you zero times and you still be at rest kill percent. But, um... I don't know. It's just a really scary team or a forward air at 40 that takes you off stage and then two, three back airs could be the end of your life. Yeah. I don't know. I, I'm just really looking forward to this one. I would love to see Kage and Legend make the upset, by the way. Um, no sure. bias whatsoever. But it's always <laughs> cool to see the unconventional stuff win because, you know, again, Melee is an old game. It's 16, almost 17 years old, right? Yeah. The metagame is developed. It's fleshed out. Um, and when you see characters that didn't make the cut for that shoe in top three spot, top five really is still the characters that pretty much run this game at the top level. Um, it's always exciting. Yeah, Love seeing sure. the Opsas and Axes of the world, but the Kage and Legend teams of the world could also do some damage. Yeah, interesting to see where Kage and Legend uh, strike to. If they, I think they won the Rock, Paper, Scissors. Um, just interesting to see how t game one will go. Um, it looks like, because Ganondorf's very much a one-punch man kind of character. Yeah. And Puff is like, I'll oh, keep you off stage. You're going to die. So we'll see how it goes on. I mean, let's be real. Task Fox oh. is one-punch man, but it, yeah. it takes more than one punch. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Kage at 110 at the word go. Yeah, that, I, is, that scary. is an unrealistic amount of damage already. And that's just showing that Ganon being a big body is kind of a liability in doubles, <laughs> even though he's got so much power. That power comes at a price being a huge target. Yeah, and oh, there oh, we go. The rest, Puff there to out? equalize it, and we're going to see the... Oh, oof, no, the falling oh up air. Kage yeah. went for an up air of his own, but Puff is so tiny that it didn't work. I yeah. thought maybe we'd see dash attack. He just missed it. Yeah, interesting choice. But, yeah, that's going to be a quick stock. Swedish Delight also at relative kill percentage, but we'll see how the green team closes it out. Just like oh, that. Oh, legend! Leg. This guy living up to his name. Oh, I'm shocked that that didn't connect with Fox, but Ice with a beautiful recovery angle to keep himself alive. Man. That was so back and forth. And we've got Kage still at a really oh, high percent stomp. here. Oh my god, how many of them? Real stomps, how many of them? All oh right. my gosh, that's going to be, yeah. If it was a fox edge guard, that would have been scary. But uh, indeed, it's Sheik, so that's optimal, I guess. All and those creatures off the top. Team wow. Rocket's blasting off again. <laughs> that was unfortunate, too. Um, it looked like they were going to be okay from that, but it oh. didn't happen. Okay, Edgehog, and another one. Okay. We have even stocks here, ladies and gentlemen. We have a fight going on. I knew this one was going to be good. This one's going to be good. Get your notebooks out. You guys want to see and write down what you Team Dynamic fiends are looking for. Oh, it's shining. Just solo shining off the stage. And oh. Oh, oh, where are you going? Excellent oh, where trade. are you going, Legend? Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. Oh, the heartbreak. Oh, that was so close. Swedish Delight had no chance to do anything for Puff. He wanted Puff was free to chase him down because he knew that she couldn't go down there as well. He or wasted, he would have wasted it. Yeah, he wasted a jump going for a forward air and luck uh sorry, not lucky. Ice was already dead. Yeah. I feel but, like I'm still watching Lucky and Shrew. <laughs> same colors. 
Okay, jab to up smash. Yeah. There goes Kage, and what looked like an extremely close and competitive match has turned into a rather one-sided one, and wow, 88%. That looked like he was DIing to death. He was like, yeah, yeah. Just six yeah. frames. Fast forward. Yeah. Kage scratching his head early on. He just he got swarmed on so quickly, that quick yeah. 110 yeah. at 10 seconds. Definitely not a place Kage wants to be in. Um, but yeah, the power showing is, there's a definite trade-off of that power. You definitely saw a few trades coming in. Kage definitely throwing a forward air and a jab, knocking him off stage, and then you saw uh, Legend trying to just knock him off. Right. So it definitely did show some merit into that game plan, but Ice and Swedish just putting a stop to that. Yeah, very interesting how Ganon, since he can knock you off stage at a very low percent, can set up into these Jigglypuff edge guards. That said, I think uh, we did see one problem with this team last match, and that's that Ganon doesn't have a great way to get Puff out of rest. Right, yeah. He's also not fast on the ground. He could down B, but sometimes that's just going to kill her outright. you got to get the weakest hitbox. I don't even know how you would set that up, but... That's a death from, yeah. from Legend. Yeah, we quick... Yeah, quick percentage coming in from Kage once again, and it's... Oh my gosh, offstage just from the blue team. And that's a, st that's a kill. We got back and forth. Yeah, we saw the X Factor really coming into play from Legend last game. He just cleaned up so many stocks so quickly. But Swedish looking really clever this time, getting away from the edge guard. Sheik players despise being off stage against this character, and really in general, but especially against Jigs. Oh, we got the backwards up air. Oh, and a little hesitant. He could have swung that and taken Ice out real early. Oh my goodness, this is volatile. Offstage situation, but Legend again hesitant to swing. Ice is going for these early recoveries. It looks like it's throwing these guys off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kage taking down for his first off finally and takes a stock of his own. So we are just about even. But the blue team has a percentage deficit coming in. Kage and Legend looking to take out. Um, trying to take out, uh, excuse me, Ice. And there have been so many instances in which it looks like Kage is ready for a big consequential hit. And either just afraid to pull the trigger in the moment or thinks he has to wait longer than he does and of course Fox and Cheek being such speed demons can either just outframe data him or get right in there with an illusion and forget it the situation's already over. And an excellent combo coming in from Ice and Swedish taking out Kage off the top and a quick slap of the volleyball a huge spike coming in that's a stock from Legend. Kage just creating this wall with his aerials though back air up air fair Man, it is really hard to get through this, even with two characters. You yeah. kind of have to make him whiff and then get in there with the first movement option, like dash attack. Yeah, definitely. Kage definitely using the platform swing's advantage. Getting that low hip or that hitbox knowledge to edge out a hit from the for the blue team. Definitely working wonders for them right now, but you know, all characters at their relative kill percentages. Interesting to see how they will move forward and try to get the edge here. Interesting. Ice taking the back and Swedish in the front for a little bit there. But I think we're going to see a return to form. Gets back. Oh, yes. Gets back here. Kills it. And now it's looking like it's about to go blue team's way once again. Oh, up air though. Okay. Quick kill on Fox and we have even stocks. Then Jigglypuff doesn't matter what her percent is. She dies so early and kills so early that you can almost ignore that. I thought we were going to see a rest for a second yeah. on the back throw, but... Rest that, is dangerous at that percentage. Exactly. I don't think so. Well, it's also worth it at that percentage, right? You know? Well, or do right. you mean Sheik being a zero, or do you mean Puff being a high percent? Puff being a high percent. Yeah, well, I mean, at that point, you know, she's going to die to the next hit anyway. Maybe try to yeah, scam a stock at zero. Yeah, right? I, see, yeah. I see what you mean. Kage, Either way. Kage definitely at a scary percentage. That's going to be it. That cleans out the stock. Swedish and Ice clean up Kage and Legend. What a quick... 2-0. Yeah, you saw after Legend respawned on his last stock, it was so quick. He took 70 damage right off the bat. 